next we will be dealing regarding dimensions of business environment okay so dimensions of business environment usually asked as a practical oriented question for 5 marks neatly draw the diagram showing the different dimensions of business environment so all these are the general forces which i have already explained so that is economic environment this is a dimension of business environment a circle fully a circle with all the dimension shown so economic environment social environment technological environment political environment legal environment so this is a di uh, diagram dimensions of business environment showing the different dimensions of business environment you have to draw and just show the dimensions there practically oriented questions for 5 marks okay so let me now explain the different dimensions here the different forces which is affecting which is outside the control of the business enterprises and affecting it uh, indirectly only what are general forces business environment includes two specific force and general force so specific are having direct impact effect consumers suppliers uh, competitors all that we study investors now these are outside the uh, business enterprises outside the control of the business and uh, enterprises and having indirect impact on the performance of the business enterprises now let us start with the economic environment so in the economic environment you see it includes these are the elements or we can say the components of economic environment interest rates inflation rates changes in disposable income of people stock market indices value of a rupee okay all these are the economic factors that affect the management practices in a business enterprises so all these are in the economic environment we can call these are the components or elements of economic environment what are those interest rates inflation rates changes in disposable income or of people or we can call it as dpi disposable persons income stock market indices value of a rupee now we'll explain this one or two here elements the interest rate what are the interest rate the rate changes the changing rates of interest have a large impact in the consumer behavior and the level of consumption in the economy the interest rates when they when they change they change the consumer behavior consumer behavior means the purchase the demand for the products so here with an example i can explain in case of construction companies and automobile manufacturers mainly automobile manufacturer if a person has to purchase a automobile a four wheeler a motor car and if the bank gives him low interest for a longer period if he is able to get the motor car purchase the motor car on loan at a low interest longer period for the payment of the uh, amount that means there is a, it results in increased spending by the consumers for buying of that cars on borrowed money why because he can pay the amount at a lower interest which is charged by the banks and for a longer period so many of them come forward to purchase the motor car same happens in case of the house mortgage mortgage loan if they give a long period 20 uh, 20 to 25 then you can construct the house you are paying lower interest rate longer period so they it results in increase spending on the purchase of motor car as well as on the constructions of the house so borrowing becomes uh, cheaper why you are paying lower interest for a long period 
So, you can spend some more uh, it, it is affordable for the middle income group again they will start purchasing. So, purchasing demand for the motor car for the automobile industry increases because of the lower long period interest rate lower long term interest rates. If it is for a shorter period then it is difficult they have to pay nothing much amount uh, uh, will remain in their hand they cannot pay if the uh, minimum income he is earning minimum income then whatever he has earned he has to pay the interest. So, it will be pose a burden to him. So, he may not go for the purchase of the automobile or the purchase of the motor car or he may not go in for the construction of house. So, this lower when the interest rate goes down borrowing becomes cheaper larger purchase on credit more affordable you see a lot of advertisement you will hear low rate house you can construct mortgage loan reduced to uh, uh, vehicle loan at a rate this rate. So, that there will be more of a, uh, advertisement promotions taking place by these uh, banks and the middle class people they benefit from this they go in for more purchase and the constructions of the houses. In case there is increase then borrowing becomes increase in interest rates borrowing becomes expensive it will again hamper the consumption ok. They will not go in for consumers behavior change when there is increase in interest rate borrowing becomes expensive it will damper the uh, consumption, but it will benefit the savers ok. Those are saving there will be increase in the rate in the deposit fixed deposits. So, it will benefit one section of the society those are the savers who do not spend much they save from their income they have to deposit they deposit in the banks. So, interest rate increases on the deposits, but borrowing becomes expensive those who want to borrow those who want to borrow the uh, vehicle those, those who want to purchase the vehicle by borrowing then it becomes expensive. So, the interest rates also has a impact on the consumer behavior. If it uh, kept low then it will have increased demand for purchase of cars motor cars or for the constructions house mortgage loans. If it is increased uh, then borrowing becomes expensive they cannot afford to buy there may not it may uh, uh, tamper the uh, consumption but it will benefit the savers. So, that is regarding interest rate. Next you have the inflation. What is inflation? So, here inflation is prices increase over time resulting in fall in the purchasing value of money. Inflation economic student rise in price it increases the price, but decreases the purchasing value of money purchasing value of money. Inflation rate the meaning is price increases over time resulting in fall in the purchasing value of money increase in price decrease in purchase value of money. Simply we can say the uh, 20 years back by paying 100 rupees the things the amount of purchase we make now if we compare to now 2020 ok. See what we can purchase in rupees 100 or for that matter you take 1000 100 is nominal 1000 or 2000 one big note of 2000 you pay and in the year 20 years back 2000 what you were purchasing what are the amount of purchase you could make and now what you can make. So, the inflation rate will affect again it has a effect in the consumer behavior of the consumer. So, purchase power of the consumer decreases 
depending upon the inflation rate. If it is higher, there is lower purchase by the consumer. Purchase power of nation's currency decreases. Increase in price, purchasing power of that currency decreases. For that rupees 2000, we are not able to purchase anything if we compare it earlier. Now it is nothing for 2000, you will get peanuts. So that is what we say. That means rise in the price rise, but decrease in the purchase value of the money. There is no value for that uh, Indian, uh, that currency note itself. So you are not able to buy much. So this has an effect in the payment of wages, okay? increase in the raw materials, increase in the price uh, purchase of the um, uh, uh, assets that is the missionaries, the payment of the wages and the salaries. So inflation rates generally have a constraint on the business enterprises. It becomes very difficult when they increase in various costs because of inflation. It has constraint on the business purchases. The purchase of the raw materials increases, purchase of the machineries, they have to make the payment of the wages and the salaries to the employees. So high inflation rate pose result in constraints on the business enterprises because they increase the cost, cost of what? Cost of raw materials, cost of the machineries, payment of wages and salaries to the employees. So this Inflation rate like the interest rate also will have an impact on the consumer behavior indirectly. So they will be not left with much amount to spend on purchasing, purchasing the product. So when there is no much amount spent, then there will be no much demand for the products. The sales also will deteriorate. So higher inflation rate poses a constraint on the business enterprises because there will be increase in various cost of raw materials, machineries, they have to pay the wages, salaries to the employees. Next one is changes in disposable income of people or we say it as DPI. So due to increase in the, there, there is a change here, when there is a change in the disposable income. change in the or rise in the disposable income of the people due to increase in the gross domestic product of a country creates increasing demand for products. What is it now? Rise in disposable income of people will result in increase gross domestic product. Disposable income, what is this now? Disposable income. Disposable income is the income of a person after deducting the income tax. So, disposable income is equal to income minus income tax. So, the salary what is earned by an employee after paying the tax what amount remains is the amount he can spend on purchasing that is called as DPI disposable person income. So when there is rise in disposable income there will be increase in gross domestic product. What is gross domestic product? Gross domestic product is the total value of goods and services produced in a country. So if there is a demand for the goods and services because there is more income in the hand of a person to spend, there will be total value of goods and services also will increase. Gross domestic product is the total value of goods and services produced in a country. When there is increase in disposable income, it will result in increase in GDP, gross 
domestic product which will in turn increase the demand for the products. More income, more total value of goods produced also will be more because of there, there will be more demand. So, this will again affect the business enterprises. When there is more demand automatically obviously, you will have more sale. So, this is again in the economic environment indirect affecting. It depends upon the amount what is left in your hand to spend after paying the income tax. If there is little amount in your hand after paying income tax, decrease disposable income, decrease GDP, decrease demand. Okay. So, disposable income of the people, higher disposable income, higher income left after paying tax, increased gross domestic product which will increase the demand for the products. Okay. Next, <coughs> stock market indices, stock market, financial market, fluctuations in the value, face value of the shares of different companies. So, again you have the stock exchange market which gives you the value of the shares, economic barometer it is called as because it will give you the economic condition, okay, stock exchange. This stock market indices, indices which gives you the value of the shares of different companies. So, if the value of the shares increases, if there is more amount invested, then they will invest more in the shares of that company. So, this also when there is more investment, more funds are available for the business enterprises, they can carry on, they can uh, uh, take a decision of expansion or a modernization of the business. Okay. So, stock market indices value of the rupee also are the economic factors or elements uh, which are present in the economic environment and which have a indirect effect in the performance of the business enterprises. Okay. These are just for the information you may be asked in one or two more to just write a note on economic environment, the elements and what are. So, interest rates, higher interest rates, lower interest rates will affect the purchasing of the uh, uh, vehicles or the mortgage. If it is lower for a long period, he can borrow it easily. If it is higher, borrowing becomes expensive. Okay. Inflation, price increases, purchasing value of money decreases. For uh, uh, amount of 2000, what you are paying, you cannot buy more because price has increased, purchasing value has decreased. Okay. Changes in disposable income of a person after disposable income is income minus the income tax what remains he can spend on household, he can spend this money on the uh, uh, household or he can even think of uh, saving the money, household items, he can make more purchase. Okay. So, there will be increase in the uh, gross domestic product, uh, in return it will result in increased demand for products of the business enterprises. Stock market indices changes in the value of the shares of different companies and value of rupee changes increase or decrease value, currency value that also has a indirect effect on the business enterprises, performance of the business enterprises. Okay. Next is the social environment. So, social environment here it consists of or it includes the social forces like customs and traditions, the social values, social trends, society expectation from business. So, this is also one environment, social environment where it consists of the social forces, social forces like customs and traditions, social values, social trends, society expectations from business. Now, what are this? customs and traditions, what are these? These are simply the social practices that have been seen from the decades, lasted for decades or even centuries in a particular society. 
So, these are the social practices, customs and traditions are defined as social practices which are lasted for decades or centuries in a particular society. Just an example of some festivals, okay. you have the festival celebrations of uh, uh, you have the recent coming the Ganesh Chaturdeshi, it may be Janmashtami or the Dasera, Diwali, Christmas, Eid which have finished. Say, during all these festivals, there are businesses to particular enterprises. What are those? Every festival, usually uh, the Deepavali or the Christmas or the Eid, you go for purchase of garments, dresses, accessories, sweets, all these. So, there is business for all these business enterprises. It provides significant financial opportunities for the garment industries, okay, for the sweets, of bakeries, for the accessories, footwares, tailoring, okay, you uh, purchase the materials you for tailoring, customize you want or you go for uh, ready made garments and earlier now it is not that much opportunity for these uh, cards, now it is uh, messages or the wishes are sent through WhatsApp. Okay. Earlier there were business for you have the manufacture of these uh, uh, Diwali cards or the Eid, the Christmas, there is but compared to earlier it is a, a little less, relatively less all the wishes are sent through the messages through WhatsApp or any of the um, app which are in which you can send it easily. So, but there are businesses for tailoring, for sweets, for the decorations, for the garments, uh, the, uh, then um, the foot, the accessories also together the accessories. So, this is because of the customs and traditions. You see there is some gain. So, this social environment brings about opportunities to particular business, a financial opportunity to particular business. I can give the example of same COVID pandemic here. Because of that many industries are suffering, the hotel industry, the IT industry, transportation, many whatever industry. But some opportunities have the, uh, some, some business enterprises have grabbed the opportunities as I have told. The manufacture of mask, the sanitizer, the uh, hand wash and now the medical kits, health care kits. So, these are earning, they have the financial opportunity in this threat also, in this particular uh, um, pandemic situation also. Okay. So, they see it as a financial opportunity and uh, uh, the, uh, the businesses mainly to the medical, you have these uh, hospitals, uh, the medicals, they also then the, uh, the ambulance around, they also have got a business because of this uh, COVID, uh, pandemic COVID-19. Then you have the values, what are values here, social values. Values refer to the concepts that a society holds in high esteem. Social values are a, a concept which the society holds in high value. What are those? They are in India, individual freedom, social justice equality of opportunity and national integration, these are the examples of major value cherished by us in India. Okay. So, individual freedom, freedom in the purchase, okay. equality, no, di no discrimination, equality, non-discrimination in the um, employment opportunities. Uh, uh, freedom in the purchase, choice in the market. Okay. You have the uh, freedom to make a choice, your uh, taste preference you can purchase the garment. Okay. Equality in the employment opportunity, okay. social justice, okay. responsibility towards the society. So, all these are uh, uh, comes under this uh, social values which are cherished by the our Indian, uh, uh, Indian economy. So, these are the values, independent freedom in making a choice in the market, non-discriminatory employment practices, no discrimination regarding any caste or creed or gender. Okay. Then 
the freedom in the choice as told, business responsibility towards the society, business obligations, you know social responsibility, what are the social responsibility? That is the uh, responsibility to look into the welfare and interest of the society as well. You are an enterprise, since you are established in the society, you have certain responsibilities, certain obligations towards the society. So, you have to behave likewise. Okay. Next, you have social trends. Social trends, the present various opportunities and the threats to business enterprises. So, social trends, the present opportunities as well as the threats to the business enterprises. What are those social trends which say this is a trend now, not that, that was earlier, that is outdated we say. Now, this is a trend, that is social trend. So, that social trend will present sometime as an opportunity or it may be a threat to the business enterprises. For example, talking about this health care, health fitness, health and fitness trend has become popular. Large number of people now they go in for this health care products as I have told, they go in for uh, yoga, meditation, diet uh, uh, drinks or uh, they go for these uh, food supplements, they go in for this gym, they get the supplements. Earlier you could drink any water, whatever is available, now you go only for mineral water. And also they, uh, there, there are demand for organic products, this is the trend now. Go in for purchase, you see organic products. Organic products, we assume that it is, uh, it is an assumption that it is free from um, pesticides, chemicals, fertilizers. Okay? So, this is a trend. Earlier it was not like that, whatever everything, what anything and everything available in the market we used to purchase. So, the trend social trend presents some opportunities as well as threats. Opportunities for these organic products, threat for the earlier products which were traditionally what used, what was available in the market. So, health, fitness, wellness, okay, we have these products of uh, wellness. You have your uh, legendary cricketer there advertising for the promoting the products, uh, healthcare products from wellness. So, health fitness going in for more, most of the people uh, youth you see go in for this gym to build up their body. So, you have these uh, um, uh, Ayurvedic uh, uh, um, resorts, you go in for this Ayurvedic resorts, we have the in Manipal we have some Ayurvedic resort, homeopathic resort where you go in for meditation, yoga improve your concentration or for mental peace or also uh, for relaxation of the muscle, uh, uh, muscles which will lower your blood pressure, okay, bring down your uh, stress. So, all these are uh, social trends which much of the importance is given nowadays as I have told it is interrelated for a longer life span lifespan and because of the awareness created also too much of uh, uh, advertisement uh, promotions regarding this then people go in for those products health care products or health products or services. Okay. So, this uh, trend has harmed some business as I have told there are opportunities for all these new uh, uh, organic products on all those uh, gym or uh, uh, food supplements, but they have harmed the industries mainly for the consumption of these uh, dairy products. Okay? When you are uh, more uh, become more conscious about your health, you start consuming less of this uh, uh, dairy products uh, or uh, sweets. So, that is a threat to those industries, sweets uh, or the ice creams or the dairy products, chocolates. So, that is a social trend which present opportunities for some uh, business enterprises and threat to some other business enterprises. Okay. So, social environment includes social forces like customs and traditions, social values, social trends and uh, society expectations from the business that is a uh, uh, social responsibility of the business enterprises towards the society. What is it? You have to look into the environment, see that the welfare of the society uh, uh, 
provide them good quality products at a reasonable uh, uh, price. Uh, do not pollute the uh, environment, take precautionary steps against pollution. So that is the society expect expectations from the business. Okay. Next we come to the technological environment. Technology has a lot of indirect impact on the uh, business performance and the modes and the methods, the way they produce, the techniques they use. So what is the technology environment? These are the forces relating to scientific improvement and innovations. Technology forces or technological environment includes forces relating to scientific improvements and innovations which provide new ways of producing goods and services and also new methods and techniques of operating a business. So, technological environment includes the forces relating to scientific improvements and innovations which provide new ways of producing goods and services as well as new methods and techniques of operating a business. Okay. So, this the recent technological advances in computers, electronics have modified the ways in which company advertise their product. So, recent technological advances in computers, technological changes, advances in computers have changed the ways how a company advertises products. Earlier advertisement if you say what are the uh, medias then it is uh, maybe newspapers, brochures or television, radio, pamphlets. Now you have advances in computers have brought about new ways for advertising the products which is common we can see in CD-ROM. CD-ROM, CDs, compact disc, ROM, read only memory. What is this? Here the full information about the product that is high technology medium or multimedium where it has the ability to sell the product by having all the information of the product in a, 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 in a video. So, the demonstration also may be installed in the, the demonstration of the product, the features of the product everything will be promoted, it be, uh, uh, you can see a full motion video which demonstrated the high quality and sound. So, instead of simply having the promotion in the television, the detailed uh, benefits of the product, the demonstration of the product is in a form of a full video with high technology and good quality technology and a quality sound. So, this is already it is installed in that compact disc and that will be used by the prospective consumers or the potential consumers and they will have sufficient full detailed information about the product. So, this will serve as a marketing sales tool and it will create a more demand, it will uh, motivate the customers to buy the product. So, whatever demonstration, whatever um, uh, that uh, product has to give the benefit, whatever essential features everything is in that compact disc. So, it has full information about the product and it has been a marketing sales tool where it will motivate or stimulate the customer or persuade the customer to buy the product. So, this is a high technology media, multimedia used to advertise the product of a particular business enterprises because of advance in computers. Next one is computerized information kiosk. Computerized information kiosk. Now, what is this? Uh, in banking industry, in banking uh, banks we can see the ATM that is a computerized information kiosk. You have the information available. 
your, about your balance, about your withdrawals. If you want to withdraw the cash, you want to deposit the cash. One more you have the standing uh, machine there, the printing, passbook printing machine. That is a computerized information kiosk. Okay? Information is made available in shopping malls, in the hotel lobbies, in the airports, railway station. Okay? You have something like a, a stand where the monitor is there, informations are there. In, in the airport, you have the timing, the destination, time of departure, arrival, the different destinations, if there is change in time of departure or arrival, all the information is available in that. Okay? So, it is called as computer info, information kiosk. In the shopping mall also you have that. Okay? The um, retail kiosk. Uh, uh, something like you have studied in the first year the vending uh, machine, what is it? You insert a coin and you get a particular product, retail store kiosk, may be placed in you can see it in the railway stations or the bus stations, small little items, consumable items, direct consumer goods, maybe the wafers or the newspapers or the water, water bottle, you want the water, bisleri water, all these are available. These also come, uh, these also are called as computer uh, information kiosk. In the banks, we have seen the ATM, the printing, uh, passbook printing, that is also called as uh, printing media kiosk and retail kiosk, I told. Uh, also, in airports, railway stations, we have and this is simply a self-service access. Any information available, uh, this is deployed in public, in railway stations, in airports or in bus stations. You have this, so it is installed or deployed in public places. So, it will uh, provide a self-service access uh, to the particular consumer, if he wants to know, if he has just arrived in the railway station, if he wants to know a nearby restaurants, hotels or the parks or the some visiting places, recreational play, uh, uh, places, places of entertainment, it is available in that. Okay? So, sometimes it may be interactive or sometimes it is just one, you are, it is giving you information about the available nearby places. So, these are called as computerized information kiosk, which is deployed in uh, public uh, places to give people self-service access to products and services. Okay? So, you can see the pay point kiosk. Okay? Uh, recently, you might have seen it may go as an innovation also on the part of the banking industry, the SBI, State Bank of India. If you have seen a forward uh, WhatsApp small video. Places affected by flood or the remote places where the people are not able to approach the bank, the SBI, they have created the innovative method like a um, counter like a, um, a small counter, it is installed in a small boat and you have one person sitting with a laptop, the um, technology and it goes from one river bank to the other side where he accepts the amount and he uh, the withdrawal and the deposit is done. So, just uh, on the boat, a small boat, it is installed with counter like with the laptop with the information, the uh, uh, account of the uh, people around. So, they are need not come to the bank, they have this pay point kiosk you can say. So, he uh, th this particular um, pay point goes reaches the people on the shore and they do their withdrawals or the deposit likewise. Okay? That is an innovation also in the banking industry instead of people coming maybe the flood affected area or they are not easily approachable, they cannot come easily, not available mode of transport. So, the bank itself goes to the customer, it is like that, that is development innovation in the field of banking. Next is robotics, uh, robotics and uh, synthetic fuel that is uh, in, uh, in addition to this all technology advances in computers, uh, computer information kiosk or CD room or you have these uh, websites, airline they have their own websites. 
schools and colleges they have their own website what is it worldwide web multimedia so in this in this particular page you get the information of this particular airways particular bus particular school and colleges so you did not this is a way you advertise now need not publish in papers spend huge amount you create your own website then detailed information is available nowadays due to this pandemic again all admission is done online online admission online registration online examination online classes so this is through having a web page okay then in addition to this continuing innovation in different scientific and engineering field also have taken place so this is in addition scientific and engineering fields such as you can see the lasers the robotics biotechnological uh, medicine telecommunication and synthetic fuels have provided numerous opportunities and threats for many business enterprises so innovations scientific and in engineering fields also so it may be through lasers robotics biotechnology food preservatives medicines telecommunication synthetic fuel these have provided again opportunities and threats to many business enterprises so it has resulted in shift demand you you see this uh, shift from the earlier when we were in schools when uh, we you pass third and go to fourth then from pencil it changes using of pen so that is the first using of pen then we remember there was something called as fountain pen okay we had that pen we remove we fill in the ink then we place all those uh, nib and all those thing then that is called a pen from that particular pen fountain pen now there is a shift from demand pen we used to have just call it as a fountain pen now it is demand for ball point pen so small changes from fountain pen to ball point pen also change from typewriter to computers so shift in the demand from the fountain pen to the ball point pen from the typewriters to the uh, computer based word processors and also from the steam locomotives to diesel um, land electric engines okay that is again transformation in railways railway lines so trains so this have brought about uh, opportunities for some industries and threat to some other so ball point pen manufacturing it is opportunity from them the fountain pen i don't think now you have anywhere some parker pens you have but fountain pen they have lost their market so it is it, it proved a threat to them because of the entry of the ball point pen now here two uh, particular aspects i will be discussing robotics if you have seen this robotics are used mainly in the field of manufacturing assembling in the factories assembling of the raw materials or assembling in the spare parts in the automobile industry okay assembly line industry you get the spare parts from all other places and construct uh, manufacture a automobile so for this assembling of the products uh, and the manufacturing packing of the finished products they use this robotics which can uh, perform the work n number of times than the manual labor human being so it can perform the job of this many workers a uh, one robotic can perform that so instead of uh, appointing this many human manpower if a robotic is used he can do that uh, job of 10 people or 20 people so the packing can be done mechanically the assembling of the spare parts can be done sometimes manufacturing can be done so their robotics are used and recently one more uh, whatsapp uh, forward if you have seen uh, in bangalore there's a restaurant uh, Uh, if i'm not mistaken in indranagar it is told they have started using the robot service okay you can you will not see the stewards there waiters robots are used to play you place the order 
they will deliver the order to you. So, all this work is done by the robot. So, maybe in hotel industry slowly you can see everywhere now in Chennai it was now in Bangalore in some one or two places you have seen the robots being used to uh, serve or take the order you place the order with them and they serve the um, uh, ordered items to the customer there. Okay. Next is the synthetic fuel, what is the synthetic fuel? environment friendly you can say which is not produced from the crude oil, non crude oil mainly from the natural gas or uh, you can produce this diesel, kerosene, jet fuel not by the crude oil, non crude oil using natural gas and plant waste or you can say the biomass. Okay. So, again our uh, opportunity where synthetic fuel you used a threat to the other industry who are using the crude oil for the manufacture of kerosene, petroleum, diesel. So, synthetic fuel is a fuel which is produced, which is producing diesel, kerosene, jet fuel by using natural gas, plant waste and also uh, by using this uh, what you call it as uh, the biomass. So, they it poses a threat to the other industries oil refinery. So, there again this innovations in engineering scientific and engineering field also poses a, a gives opportunities and poses threats to some business enterprises. So, this or everything is covered in technological environment. So, technological environment includes forces relating to scientific improvements and innovations which provide new ways of producing goods and services and new methods and techniques of operating business. So, in the field of uh, uh, recent technology advances in computers and electronics, there are modified ways where the companies have used for advertising their products. So, in that I explained about CD-ROM, computerized information kiosk, the uh, websites every industries uh, the institutions also have to give a detailed information about their performance, about their activities and also the um, innovations in different scientific and engineering fields especially relating to robotics, synthetic uh, fuel, the biotechnology, medicines, telecommunication and also lasers, food preservatives. These have proved opportunities, provided opportunities as well as threats for different enterprises. So, also you have seen shift in demand from the uh, diesel locomotive electric engines to diesel uh, from the steam locomotives to diesel land electric engines and also from typewriters to computers from fountain pen to ballpoint pen. So, this is only because of the technological environment, technological changes taking place. Okay. So, in this we have studied three dimensions, one is economic environment social environment and technological environment. So, in economic environment we have dealt it includes all these components or elements we say interest rates, inflation rates, changes in disposable income of people, stock market indices value of rupee. In social environment social forces, social environment includes social fo forces like uh, customs and traditions, social values social trends, society expectation from business or uh, social responsibility you can call and technological environment includes forces relating to scientific improvements and innovations which provide new ways of producing goods and services and new methods and techniques of operating a business. So, you have seen the advances in computers relating to the CD-ROM, computerized information kiosk, creating of the uh, websites world wide web multimedia that is through internet. Then in the scientific and engineering field you have seen robotics, synthetic fuels, medicines, telecommunication, food preservatives which have again provided 
numerous opportunities and threats to business enterprises also shift in the demand which i have told so this is covered in the technological environment so three dimensions we have dealt in this session